Well, it certainly got a little interesting there at the end, but a win against the best team in baseball is a big win, right? Well, it, it's, it was a good baseball game. You know, Fenway, you don't see a lot of, you know, games that uh, low scoring. Um, but, you know, foundation of the game, you know, you pitch, you play defense, you run the bases. Um, we maybe left a couple of runs out there being aggressive, but I, I have no problem with that. But, uh, you know, Kyle, the, way, the job that he did, um, getting through eight, it was, it was an impressive outing by him against a really good lineup. And I don't know what to say about the ninth. <laughs> Other than that, um, it would have been a good game to just come up here and have someone tell me what happened. But, um, you know, it's kind of been his M.O. You know, he's going to deal with some base runners and find his way out of it. And, and I'm glad he found, found a way to do it tonight, especially after 3-0. Kyle was over 100 pitches, getting ready to face some very tough batters. What was your thought process there, letting him go back out in the eighth? He's been good when I've extended him. I thought his last three innings prior to the eighth were crisp. He made a lot of really good pitches. And, uh, you know, I was kind of going to batter by batter there as far as uh, how we might go. Um, you know, I had a couple guys that I could bring in, but, you know, both, you know, they were a little bit Hildy and Duke, you know, outings uh, had a couple back-to-backs and things so we were trying to you know ride Gibby as long as we could as long as we thought he was effective and he, and he, and he made it work out the way he got through that eighth inning. Mitch Garver with a big hit today yeah. how yeah how impressive was well, it? I think you know it's just you can see his at bats and and how he's going about it you know taking pitches he's been taking his walks he's been driving the ball and you know he's throwing a guy he's facing a guy there that you know throws hard he's got a really good breaking ball and he got a breaking ball in a, in a fastball count and he still stayed on it so just a really big hit and uh, you know he hasn't had a lot of chance to DHs but tonight it paid off he got he got the game winner for us after uh, the 3-0 Fernando was a little deliberate there and taking his time how does one bounce back from 3-0 I don't, I don't know I it, man. I, he, he, he's joking about it. he was just trying to make it memorable, you know. Get he said he loved loved the excitement, got the fans into it, and uh, I don't think he really did it by design. But you know, he's got he's got the ability to do that. It's uh, it's not the most pleasant thing for everybody watching, but it sure creates drama. What do you think of the play by Andre Alonso there? It's fantastic. Time? You got you got a guy who gets out of the box and never doesn't run down the line. And uh, thankfully, he hit hard enough where we, he gave us time to make a play. But just the reaction, you know, the play, you know, springing to his feet and making an accurate throw. It, I don't think he can make a better play. What's been your counsel to that to Gibson during this trade period where his name has shown up in some rooms? You know, it's been minimal. Um, I, I have talked to a lot of those guys and just in passing, I don't think I want to, you know, make a big deal about any of it. And... Um, you know, he, the way he's thrown, like I said before the game, you know, he's he's an attractive piece. But I, I think that he, the job he's done here, and, you know, we'll, we'll just have to see where that goes. But I, I think he's handled it extremely well. Did he uh, play at the plate? Uh, you're, you're cool with that? Yeah. I, you know, he he's going to do those things. We talked about a pregame, ironically. Um, and, you know, it's just one of those things where, he he sees uh, Holt going to make a tag. Um, unfortunately, I think the slide that he made in the third maybe cost him a, a step or so in, in getting his break. And uh, you know he almost caused the Aaron throw there. It's you know it's probably better if it's a two-out play. Um, but you know if he scores and, and you win by a run, you know you you'd be singing his praises.